Okay, folks, we're back with another episode of Only Stands. Very, very exciting to have this guest here. Big guest, apparently a bigger deal than I even anticipated. We have Kelly Kay in the Barstool Sports headquarters today, which is very exciting. So how are you? How are you doing? I am amazing. How are you? I'm okay. A little tired. Coming off like a five-day bender. A little hung. Today's my rest. I don't really get hung over. Oh, but you're I'm just blessed. Tired. You're God's Yeah, favorite. I don't really get hung over, but like my body just like kind of hurts because I've just been jerking aggressively for five days. I feel that. And I got to drink aggressively the next five days. So right now, this is, my, this is my rest day. And you did ask me to drink for this, so I will have, can I have a honey and I will have one of with you? Of course. You out of, have out to of have respect to the guest, if you want to have a drink. so I didn't date Tyga, but I hung out with Tyga a lot. He was a good friend of mine. We started doing OnlyFans together. Tyga does male OnlyFans shit, right? Mm -hmm. I was the first girl that he fucked on his OnlyFans, though. How'd that go? It was interesting. Because actually, that's one of the things I have written down here. I know, I believe, um, I knew the Tyga thing. And I was saying to myself, how does that work out? Like, how do you decide to, like, make the OnlyFans content together? Like, who who reaches out to who? Who's like, hey, let's do this. Is it planned? Does it just happen? Is someone like, oh, let's go about a phone? What happens? Um, With T, it was, like, kind of planned. He invited me on a couple trips. And he, at that point, was, like, only doing, like, dick pics and stuff on his OnlyFans. And he was like, we were going to, like screw around anyways and we're like might as well film it and sell it and he tagged me and my OnlyFans blew up. How does that work too? Like then then uh, how do we split the profits? Like do you get some profits off that or no? No, I just, just got tagged. Yeah, I just got tagged and it was like fun hanging out and going on trips and stuff. And then I started sourcing girls for him to, to um, do that. make content on his OnlyFans. Yeah. How does so actually that's a good question in general. Any dude you have on there, like how many friggin' um how do you guys decide who gets what cash? Did you ever pay guys? Um me and my ex, we uh, I used to pay him, I guess I would say I employed him. Yeah. How much? Like a percentage. Like 20%. I would always, I always said I made less than I made, so I didn't have to give them that much. Cause I feel like I shouldn't have to pay anybody anyways, cause you're literally getting to fuck the hottest person on the planet. So I well, feel like that's a, that's I shouldn't a, have to pay That's him, a big but. debate on the show. That's a massive debate on the show. The first episode we did, my guest, this girl, Jeannie Exum asked me to fuck her on camera. And She's I said- your ex? No, my guest. Oh. X, no, you said X. X. I was like, oh, no. you guys dated? I, uh, and then she asked me to do it on camera, and I just absolutely said no, and it went viral on TikTok. The clip of me saying no got like 9 million views of just like 10,000 people just calling me gay. But uh, I feel like I feel like it wouldn't be enjoyable. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, I mean, we decided to go into it as like a let's make a business out of this because I did need to make boy girl content. And, and I knew if I was paying him, it was going to come back to me because we lived together. We like paid for stuff together. It's not, you know, that wasn't a big deal, but um, I've never paid anybody else. And I do kind of fuck random people sometimes. Hell yeah, like, brother. The last, I fucked a massage therapist that wasn't planned at all. Like he was just really hot and was like giving me a massage that turned sensual. And then before that, I fucked my that's yacht. That's a porn idea. That's my a yacht fake captain. Idea, like I said. But it's not fake. It's like all these things happen. The captain of the boat I was on in Miami, he started flirting with me and pouring vodka in my mouth. And I was like, can we fuck? Dude. And I was like, can I film it? And he was like, yeah, loved it. Dude, well, I've noticed in my day on boats, boat captains are so horny. They're Not the fucking like, horniest guys in the world. I mean, you're around a bunch of like hot girls and um, we all had our titties out. Being a boat captain is the horniest job you could possibly have. Well, speaking of uh, what we were just talking about, actually, with everyone, um, what we were just talking about with the scenarios with the boat captain and whatnot, I actually have the boat captain thing written down here. I wanted, so I wanted to play a game with you called Real or Fake, where you tell me if these inter these scenarios or interactions are real or fake. Okay. I copy and paste in the messages from your OnlyFans. Okay. And I'm going to read what you're saying. So just fuck my friend's brother. My legs are still shaking. He fucked me so hard. I already want his cock inside me again. It was amazing. Confirmed or not confirmed? Confirmed. Well, how 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 old was his friend's brother per se? Uh, early twenties. How'd that work out for him? I feel like that's a good that's a good thing too. Like fucking your sister's friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I it's it happens a lot more than you think. Not just with me. I mean, I've, I've fucked like one of my friend's brothers, but my brother's friends want to fuck me and he's in high school. Yeah, that's like the dream. Yeah, not, well, yeah. not being high school. And like I, I like fulfilling fantasies. Like I am, I fantasize, like I like fantasy movies. I like, I live in my own like dream world. So if Agreed. I can fulfill somebody's fantasy like that, it makes me feel so good. And like, they come yeah. so hard and they're so grateful. And like, it's not, it doesn't last long. I'm like, it's the, it's really nice. What a fucking queen. <laughs> what, a, what a nice human. What a nice, nice I, human. I'm here to provide my I mean, that's like freaking like we had a lady in here a couple weeks ago. She was a teacher back in the day. She actually taught Johnny Sins. Oh, wow. And her and Johnny Sins fucked. And I was like, oh, my God, that's great. Johnny Sins got this like fuck his old high school teacher. That's really hot. That's the dream. Yeah. The fantasy is like that. That's a dream. OK. I, I don't know who Johnny Sins is. Though. You know who Johnny Sins is? Mm -mm. You know Johnny, you're in the game and you know who Johnny Sins is? No, a lot of people tell me I should collab with him. but You I don't, should collab with Johnny Sins. But I don't, Sins. 
I mean, I don't consider myself a porn star. Okay. I love porn stars. My best friend Mia is a porn star. Okay. Um, and I don't have anything against them. I think it's really great, but I'm not a porn star. Dude. And so I don't really know a lot of porn stars. You gotta collab with Johnny Sins. I'm not collabing with him. It's Johnny Sins. I don't, I just, that- He's that, legitimately the lead Arthur Caprio Listen, porn. this is going back to what you were just saying. Like that would be something staged and I just don't do staged material. Any of my boy girl content is like, it's like it happens and we film it, you know? That's the, that is the best it's answer. Real. That is the best answer I've heard about the boy girl content of doing the show because that is way cooler. Let's move on here. <laughs> Last night was insane with four E's. Fuck two other baddies and finished off by sucking and riding a huge cock in front of everyone with four Y's. I came at least twice. So happy the camera was rolling. Yeah, we had like a giant orgy in San Diego. Um, and I actually love women as well. Yeah, so I, cool. I've I've filmed a lot with women, done a lot of stuff with women. I've actually dated a woman. Okay. Um, and I got these guys from the club. Like I, one of our security guys at the club, I asked him to come and he came over and then he invited his friend and it turned into this huge orgy and it was really fucking crazy. Didn't know that was gonna happen. I thought we were just gonna like hook up and maybe film, but then everybody was like in on it. It was nuts. What would you say is the weirdest place you've had sex? Subway broom closet. At Subway? Yeah, when I worked there when I was 18. I wouldn't really. And my, my coworker was mopping the floors and me and my boyfriend were like just hooking up in the broom closet. It was fucking amazing. Subway is the, the least horny place of all time. I, I mean, I know the meats smell wonderful, but no, I don't know. No, it's the can't bread. It. The bread and the cookies bread, yeah. smell they so smell, good. Like it like Subway. turns me on. I'm, I'm, I fucking I love Subway, I get sub man. turned on by Subway too. Subway's sick. Okay, well this one we already got the answer to, but I'm gonna say it anyway. OMG, I'm so going to fuck the captain. Mm, I could still taste the cum in my mouth. I love being a little <laughs> slut for you. Heart emoji. He literally, he was like, where do I, where do you want me to come? And I was like, Oh, uh, dude, the captain was fucking freaking out. He was like, where do you, I was like, where do you want me to come? And I was like, in my mouth. And it literally just like shot up. Like it could have like gone to my brain how fast it shot up. And it was really great. I'm pretty sure it got on the roof of the cabin underneath and it's probably still there. I got to, I got to. Got to subscribe. I got to. I got no. I got to fucking interview Boat Captain. I'm not realizing <laughs> his name was Geo, and there was a girl on the boat. I was there for a bachelorette party, and there was a girl on the boat, and she was just really drunk and horny, and she was like banging on the door. She's like, "I want to come in there. I want to come." I, I can't be thinking about this stuff. But next time you're in Miami for a bachelorette party, can I come? Yeah, you can be invited. Okay, thank you. I love bachelorette parties. It's my favorite thing in the world. That was my first one, and uh, that's why I stopped drinking for 30 days. I got really Oh, wild. it sounds great. I t I, that's a very, very funny scenario. Thinking of the captain having no idea where to come and just freaking out. Is it on video? Can you hear me? I swear to come on video. Yeah. Oh, I got I'm, I'm going to buy that. All right. Final one. Eight girl hardcore fuck fest. My pussy got destroyed. Vintage heart emojis. So we're talking that thing in the three. Oh, I love those. Yeah, I haven't seen that since high school. Oh, I use those all the time. And then I use the like, um, like the Japanese emotes, too. I don't know what those and are, like, but yeah, how'd that go? How, like, how do you guys, how do you arrange an eight girl hardcore fuck fest? How does that be arranged? Dildos, double-sided no, dildos. I'm not saying how, how it actually happens. I'm saying, how does it get arranged? Oh, well, I mean, I'm friends with a lot of OnlyFans girls. And so we go on these trips, like we're actually planning a trip coming up to Tennessee. It's going to be sick. Where in Tennessee? Um, In Knoxville, where I'm from. Damn. Pigeon I'm Forge. Gonna, if, but if you said Nashville, I was going to be like, oh, I'm totally going to Nashville. I fucking love Nashville. You can Nashville. come to Pigeon Forge. It's going to be fun. Nah, I'm good on Pigeon Forge. I saw you yesterday, you put in your Instagram story, uh, I need a boyfriend. I do need a boyfriend. Do you want a boyfriend? How would that go if you had a boyfriend? Like, are you interested in having a boyfriend at all? I want a husband. Do you really? I think so. Like the whole the whole <laughs> nine, you want kids? <laughs> no, I don't. I want to adopt kids. I want to be like Angelina Jolie and I adopt a, kids. I feel like it's weird to want a husband and not want kids. I think like 10 years down the road, I probably want some So kids. you want to be a mom? I, I just want, I want to be surrounded by love of all aspects. And I think that um, I get a lot of love from my management and my friends um, and like my, my family, but I want like lo everlasting love that even when I get older, like, you know, my kids will still love me and be there, I'm but sure, I'm sure they will. Yeah. But, um, I, I just, I just decided this I'll be 30 next month. And up until now I didn't want a husband, a boyfriend or kids, but something's like changing uh, inside of me. And I'm like, maybe I do. You'll, you'd be a great mom. Get some kids. Oh my God. Yeah. I'd be a milf kids. for fucking sure. I would figure it out. So, but how would, how would the boyfriend thing go? Do you think you would need a boyfriend that's okay with uh, the OnlyFans stuff? Yeah. So I dated somebody last year. Um, that was my boyfriend and, and we did OnlyFans together and it was great. Like having somebody like, just like love me and take pictures of me and help me do my thing and they get paid from it. Like it's fucking sick. That's what I'm looking for. So if you're out there, I'm looking for a boyfriend slash husband. So I subscribed to the OnlyFans for science, obviously. So as I was oh, going for up science. for science. As I was scrolling I like up that. today to look for shit to talk about, uh, you had that like uh, Super Bowl streaker thing. 
Yeah. When you get a, when you sign up for OnlyFans, you get the welcome message. Okay. So how'd that go? What was that whole deal? The streak of the Super Bowl? Were you inspired by Julia Rose at the World Series? What I was happened? not inspired by her. She didn't streak. She showed her titties. It's the same thing. Standing up, different. So what happened? Can you fill me in on the whole event? I researched for a month every single thing about the stadium, the Dolphin Stadium, or yeah, the Hard Rock Hard Stadium. Rock, yeah. Um, I researched exactly where to sit. I made phone calls. I pretended to be like a celebrity's assistant just to get like information. And I found out exactly where to sit, got the ticket, went, jumped over this 10 foot wall to get on the field. How'd that go? Um, I blacked out. Are I literally you? chugged a beer and put it down and I was like, fuck it. And how'd that go? What happened? I don't really, um, really remember this. Well, they have security like every five mm -hmm. feet. Like, And are you around. naked during this? No, I custom made this dress. It was a black dress, but I had this like hot pink bikini on underneath. And I custom made the dress to Velcro up and down the side so I could like rip it off and then run. That's a lot, a lot of preparation. This is like the Ocean's Eleven of streaking. Of yeah, the we had the attorneys lined up to when I went in jail. Like I wouldn't even have to call. Like they knew they were going to get me out. I knew I was going to jail. Like there was a lot of thought behind it because I understand the importance of violence virality and Hell the yeah. Super Bowl, nobody's ever streaked it. Nobody's ever ran on the field. It's like, it's an untouched territory. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna be the first person to do it. So how far did you get? Got to the back of the end zone. If you could make OnlyFans content with one human being on the planet, who would it be? Oh my God, I don't know, there's a lot. I like, I like Dude, men. three, give me three. I like men. I like to, I mean, not, not in that way, but I like dudes too, give me three. Elvis. It's a good one. Cause he can like. You That's know, do the, the, yeah. do the, the jive. What do they call that? I don't even know. The fucking girl should freak out over it. I don't know why it was looking at me. I don't know. You look like an old school <laughs> guy. All right, Elvis who is else? one. What else? Um, uh, the guy who plays Rob Stark in Game of Thrones. Rob Stark. I know who you're talking about. Richard Madden is his name. Uh, that would be a, that's a shocking pick, but okay. Mm -hmm. Why shocking? He's hot and he has an accent. Rob Stark? I don't think he's like a crazy hot at all. Yeah, he's really fine. So right now we got Richard Madden, Elvis, third. Um, yeah, probably Justin Timberlake. I love him. I've just loved him ever since I was little. It's like a fantasy. It's so weird. Is he still married to Jessica Biel? Yeah. Is he still in the whole, is he still on the Beale train? Yep. I would not pick, I feel like Justin Timberlake is just a good looking dude. Like he's not sexy per se. Okay, I'll change him out for Tom Hardy. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But he has to be wearing the Bane mask only. <laughs> and speak to me in that in voice. In the Bane voice? I don't in think, the Bane was he voice. The one, I've never thought about that. Was he the one doing the Bane voice the whole time? No way. It had to be obviously a, a, I think yeah, it's, it's the mask. Yeah, so I think- So we, it has to be the mask and the voice for me. You know, you know? what great porn, you know a weird random porn thing I watched that I love is? Uh, bachelorette party porn. You ever watch Bachelorette Party Board? Dancing Bear. Oh yeah, Dancing Bear is funny. Dancing Bear is Dancing Bear is What awesome. is that? It's the best. It's, it's like, like this guy, this bear. stripper comes out in a like ridiculous looking bear costume and just like pulls his cock out and girls play with it. Yeah, you got to tune to the Dancing Bear. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, we kind of had that on one of our trips in New Orleans. We hired strippers and uh, it got really crazy. Can I hear about this? I'm going to New Orleans tomorrow. So I want to hear oh, about a nice yeah. New Orleans story so to hype me up. One of our biggest um, collab trips that we did in New Orleans, uh, it got really wild, but we had like a lot of girls there and then we hired male strippers and they came and we we're drinking and you know, they're just like lifting everybody up. They're like face fucking everybody. Like I'm pretty sure a few girls got naked. They didn't fuck anybody, but they definitely- I don't think that's allowed, close. right? I mean, I think anything's allowed if you want it to be. Interesting, so that was- that I was live my life. And uh, was this filmed? Can we see it on OnlyFans? Yes, it is on OnlyFans. You can request my New Orleans mail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM content. you. I'm gonna DM you right now and request it. Okay, well I'll answer tonight. Do you like getting your balls played with? Yeah. Why would you not? I don't know. I'm just I'm exploring this with men because every. Well, yeah. I mean, like, you don't have balls. balls so that makes sense. Suck on my balls. Like the last guy I fucked, he was like balls, please, and I was like, <laughs> it's hard. It's it's hard to bring up, but. I'm a balls guy. You, you got to play I, with the balls. I like sucking on balls and playing with them, but the way he said it, he, I was literally just giving him head and he was like, balls, please. And I was <laughs> like, what? I'm like, ask nicer or something. I don't Dude, know. Dude, balls, please is as nice as you're going to get. Balls, please. Like, what would have been? Well, your, I'm like, okay, your... clip, please, instead of my left vagina lip. Like, Jesus Christ. What if I yeah. said that to a guy? What a dunk. What a dunk. I feel like the guy would get insecure and get soft and it would ruin the vibe. Dude, that balls, please, is so legendary. Balls, What a please. fucking line. I'd make that out to your shirt. <laughs> what a what a line. Just that balls, should, please. Yeah, that should be your next we merch. Gotta make, we balls, gotta, please. I want to figure, we got to like make a code for all the dudes out there to let them know it's ball time. 
And I think balls, please, might be it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Yeah. My Appreciate Instagram it. is Kelly the K. You can find the link on there.